Just a few months, Camaros will be rolling off the Lansing Grand River GM plant downtown. But before that can happen, there's still plenty of training that needs to be done. Fox 47's Faith Miller jumped in on the training to see if she has what it takes to work the line. I'll never finish in time. Before they let you touch a real car at the GM plant in downtown Lansing, you've got to learn how to put together these wooden ones. Industrial engineer Jim Capeless helps run this training. A lot of people that we're getting nowadays are people that don't have any manufacturing experience at all. So here's an opportunity for them to get a feel for what it's like to put a part on a car, actually operate a tool, understand quality, and making sure that they do the job correctly. With the new Camaro line, GM added 450 jobs this summer. Many of the employees were recalled, and all of the newbies, including Tiffany Schuler, came through here. It's actually a little bit overwhelming. Team leader Jason Smith says it's designed to be. The best thing you can learn from this is don't be afraid to ask for help. A lesson I learned the hard way. <laughs> Pulling that cord sets off an alarm so the team leader can come help you out. The more comfortable you become in here, running, asking for help, utilizing the, the system that we have in place, the more confident you'll be out there, the better quality cars you'll build. That was hard. For the people just starting this job, Smith and Capeless have some advice. Learn the job, ask questions. Get with somebody that's been here and learn from them so you don't make the same mistakes. Final verdict for me? They said if this news thing doesn't work out, I've got a job on the line. In Lansing, Faith Miller, Fox 47 News. We like you too much here, Faith, to give you up. <laughs> GM says it's had a steady stream of new trainees all summer. They have made a few practice Camaros and are working out the kinks for the new assembly line.